this drawing lesson is more just like a coloring lesson because all we'll be doing is coloring a template page that you can print out onto black paper. So you can see, if you tip the page, you can see the print there. So just print out the page on black paper, just put the paper into the copier and print it like you would a white sheet and you'll be able to see this pattern. So what you want to do is just use our Prismacolor pencils. They're nice and soft and they'll just go on right over the black. And if you'd like to copy the words here, you can use white. That'll stand out nicely. It says, bats pollinate saguaro flowers at night. And if you've studied saguaros or the Sonoran Desert, a little bit, you'll know that saguaro flowers, whoops, sharp, over sharpened my pencil, made it too sharp. You'll know the saguaro blooms at night and then they stay open then the next day a little bit. But the flowers only open for one night and then a little bit the next morning. And that's it. So the saguaro has to rely on animals that are out at night. And one of the primary animals that comes is the long-nosed bat. Not just any bat, it has to be a long-nosed bat. Because the long-nosed bat has a long nose, obviously, but it can stick into those long flowers to pollinate them. A regular bat wouldn't be able to. There's also some other animals. The sphinx moth might come along, some night flying moths. And then of course the next morning the doves come and they visit the flowers and they'll pollinate some too. But the long nosed bat is a key. So I suggest getting some pictures. You could find them on uh, an image search, just use your favorite image search on the internet and just type in bats pollinating saguaros flowers and you'll get some images like this which gives you some idea about how to put on the color on the top of the black. So you can even use a variety of browns. Here I've got a dark brown, a medium brown, and kind of a tan for the bat and a couple shades of green for the cactus and you'll need some yellow for the center of the flowers and then that white for the petals. So I suggest going along these things right here. These are the bat's, basically its fingers. This is its hand. The wing is like a big hand and in fact scientific name for the bat family is Chiroptera. Chiro meaning hand and Terra meaning wing. So he's going like this. So does he have a thumb? Yeah, right here. That's the thumb, really tiny. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. It's a little bit better. So these are the fingers. This will be the little thumb somewhere along here. It's got a little thumb sticking out. One, two, three, four. Where's the, uh, let's see in this one here. This, this is more like the, this is more like the, like the elbows down here. Like that would be the elbow and this would be. So the wrist would be right about here. Now on this side we just see um, this doesn't have to be real precise. And then you can go very lightly. Use your pencil very lightly. You'll be able to do kind of a so it still looks like it's 
nighttime and everything. Now in this picture, let's see, the wing kind of goes like that, and then I can kind of see the, so the body comes like this, and there's an ear here, and there's the other ear. So those are the big ears sticking out, and then the nose is kind of down like this. It's kind of funny when you are drawing with light pencils on a dark background like this. Usually when we're drawing with a regular pencil in white, when we push the pencil around more, it gets darker and that's where we want to shade. But here it's kind of opposite. So wherever you're pushing the pencil, this is where a highlight is going to be. So everything is already in shadow. So down here, this is, this is uh, if they want that in shadow, we won't want to go over that very much. We'll do it more up like this. And again, this is a nighttime scene, so you can make it be kind of... So the bat doesn't have to be very, very dark here. Well, if you'd like to highlight just a little bit here, maybe it's maybe it's a moonlit night and a little bit of moonlight is hitting the edge of the wings or the ears or something. And then if we leave this kind of dark, you can also, believe it or not, take a black. And you can actually go back in and here, if you want to shade a little bit, you can actually go back in with a black. And put some shadows in like this, the corners. So then this would be his little foot sticking out back here, sort of. Can't see its eye in there, it'd be very dark. You might see a little, maybe a white dot or something. The shiny part of its eye is. So this part down here is all, it's kind of attached. See down here, looks, looks like it comes down below the leg here. It's,
Okay, so a little thumb here. So we're not going to really see these as well on this wing. Here we're seeing the underside, too. We're seeing these fingers very, very well. But on here, we're not going to, we're really not going to see them as much. Maybe a small bit like that, but these are, this is the top side. So we don't have to worry about that as much. Just a little thumb there sticking out. Okay. There we go. That's his back there, his body. His little long nose coming down here. Long nose. And then the saguaro down here, let's see, um, <clears throat> the centers of the flowers are yellow. And of course, at night you're not really going to see these colors. You'd have to be out with a flashlight, so we're kind of imagining that we have a light, whatever light took the picture, flash of a camera or something. It's illuminating these. So the centers are yellow. That's where the pollen is. Let's see, there's a yellow center. There's that one, and a little bit in here, I think the center. Probably going to see that a little bit. Some of these are still buds. Don't worry about that. Here's the petals. These are kind of the same color as daisies. Yeah, I'm kind of leaving a space between each petal. So this isn't really the way I would draw the flower if I was doing it on white paper. But I think this works on the dark. There's one sticking out the back there. Okay, so um, let's see. Now, remember, when you go to do the buds, you're drawing the highlights. You're not drawing the shadows. You, you already got shadows there. It's dark. So you basically want to maybe highlight this side like that. And then sort of let it fade into dark like that. Or use a darker green, maybe. Or you could put some of the texture in. You can see these have a little bit of like a scaly texture. You could put some of that in if you want to.
See how on these I kind of just left that black and then you can then we make the next one light then you can suddenly see that side of this one. There's one up here. Okay, and then we need to put in the, um, I'm going to use a darker green. What I'm going to do is, again, we have, we already have the the cracks are where it's dark, so I'm going to try to shade where it pops out here. And if I keep it light, I'll be able to go over it. I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Is, um, use a white for the spines. Okay, there. Okay, and I'm gonna remember the drawing a little bit of a cactus already. Remember, the spines are actually all coming off these little buttons like this coming off these little dots.
could move a little bit of darker green for some of the undersides, the backs of these buds here. Of course, you can get pictures of swallows in bloom. Help you out. And remember, it's a nighttime scene, so it doesn't have to be perfect. We aren't going to see them great in the dark anyways. There. 